Hello, Miss Griggs and Miss Kleber's uh, eighth grade classes. My name is Patrick Flanagan. I'm a junior at Mandeville High School, and I'm going to be coming with you guys on your field trip this weekend to the Capitol. I've been on this field trip two times before. Last year, as a uh, high school person helping Miss Kleber and Miss Griggs out again, and once myself as an eighth grader. And I have loved this field trip. It's such a fun time. And today I'm just going to talk to you real quick about parliamentary procedure because that's the format we're going to be using at the debate and it's it's what is used at Mandeville High School's Youth and Government program which I'm the president of and it's uh, something that they use they use a form of this in the the United States Senate and a little bit more in the US House so it's, it's what they use in real life and it's what we'll be using on Friday so here's how parliamentary procedure works you can't just get up and speak in front of people, you know, and just randomly talk. It just doesn't work. So there's a format. And so here's how it's going to work. I'm going to be the presiding officer. So I'll be, you could say in charge, but really it's the debaters who, who run the show. So all I really do is pick people to talk. And it's going to start like this. We'll have an author who's in charge of the bill. They will have written the bill, but they don't actually have to have written the bill. I think it's the same one we use every year, and and they should get, uh, you know, a warm round of applause afterwards because it's it's a bit of work. But you are you're in charge of the bill, and, and you get to give your opening statements. So you'll get two and a half minutes for those, and you'll say whatever you want to say. And at the end of those opening statements, if you have any time left, you can either do one of two things: you can say, "I yield my time to the chair," that's me, and I'll just take the time. Or you can yield your time to your closing statements, which will come later, and I'll put those onto your closing statements. So you'll get your closing statement time plus whatever you yielded. So then we'll go into technical questions, and this is where you, the delegates, come in. You, um, and I'm going to refer to you as the delegates, the students, those are all terms for you guys. Uh, you guys were, are going to start debating now. And the first thing we'll do is have a two-minute round of technical questions. So that means that for two minutes... I'll entertain anyone who wants to ask a technical question. So, what is a technical question? Because I had no idea when I was an 8th grader. It's a yes, no, or fact question. So, a technical question would be, do they sell the Whopper at McDonald's? Um, the answer is no, they sell it at Burger King. But uh, if they say, is the Whopper the best burger, then that's an opinion question, and that's not technical. See, the first question was technical because it was yes or no. The second question was not because it was an opinion. So we're going to take two minutes of those. So anything clarify, like how many people will this affect? Uh, what will this cost? Things like that. And so after the two minutes of that, I'll, I'll recognize you. And so when I recognize you, so let's say there's this kid named Bill Smith in the audience or the, the, the chamber, I'll say, chair recognizes Bill Smith. So Bill Smith just can't get up and ask his question. He has to say, Bill Smith, Mandeville Junior High, then ask his question. You always, always, always have to introduce yourself. And um, so that's very important. If you don't do that, you know, you're out of order. And if you're out of order, I'll say you're out of order. And then I'll, I'll let you try again because uh, we're not going to be that strict. But we just want to follow the, the set of rules. So after we do two minutes of technical questions, everybody's asked their technical question. We'll go into two minutes of oppositional debate. So this is anyone who wants to speak against the bill. So, same thing as technical questions. You raise your hand, you say, I'll, I'll say, chair recognizes, uh, I'll point to you, I may not know all your names, but I'll try. And uh, you'll be recognized, and you'll be recognized for a two, uh, not for as long as you want to talk. You can say, I don't like this because, blah, 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 blah. You, you just tell us why. And then when you're done, you do what the author did. You can yield your time to the chair, or you can yield your time to another delegate. So you can say, I yield my time to Bob over there, or I yield my time back to the chair. Now, one thing we can't do is if, if let's say, you know, Bill has yielded to Bob, Bob has to yield back to me. Otherwise, it's chain yielding. Now, I know this may sound confusing, and I'm kind of telling you this all at once, but just hang in there with me, and we'll try to fit together the puzzle by the time we're in the Capitol. So you can only yield to one person. They can't keep going. they got to send it back to me at that point. But you can yield to one person. So you, I've either yielded to the chair or you've yielded to me. You've sit, sat down. So we've done oppositional debate. Time runs out. Two minutes of that. Then we'll do two minutes of propositional debate. Same thing. Same exact thing. And we'll go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. 
until we're all done debating, until we said everything that we want to say. Or until they kick us out and it's midnight. No. Until till everyone's done saying what they want to say. Uh, and so we'll do that. We'll do the op prop. And let's say you want to ask one of those non-technical questions, one of those opinion questions of the author. You can do that. Uh, so when you raise your hand and you say, I'll say Patrick Flanagan, Mandeville Junior High, instead of saying, uh, you know, instead of just starting talking, you can say, you can ask the authors. You can say, will the authors yield to a series of technical or non-technical questions, and I reserve my right to speak after. So, what did I just say? Oh my gosh, that was confusing. I asked, will the authors, so you have to ask the authors first, we're saying, will the authors yield to a series of technical or non-technical, so you gotta cover both, gotta cover technical and non-technical, that's important. So you're asking, will they yield to a series of technical or non-technical questions, and I reserve my right to speak after. Now that's very important because if you don't reserve your right to speak after, if they say no, we're not going to answer your questions, you don't get to speak afterwards. you got to sit down. And so they can say yes or no. I mean, it's their choice. You're asking them. The only time they have to answer your questions are in technical questions. So if the author is just like, I don't want to answer any questions. They don't have to answer any questions. So that's that's how you ask a question. So after we've debated it out, we'll say, I'll say, okay, nobody, no one else wants to speak. Everybody sure? Good? Okay will ask the authors to make their closing remarks. And they'll have two and a half minutes or more, if any time was yielded from their opening statements, to make those remarks. Then after that, we'll move into a vote. I'll say uh, the motion before this floor is that bill number 284 does pass. And then we'll all hopefully get to use the electronic voting machines, cast our votes, and, and determine whether or not the, the year-round schooling is an official policy of, of our field trip. So that's parliamentary procedure in a nutshell. I'll be happy to answer any questions you have at the field trip. We'll work it all out. I don't expect you guys to know it after a seven-minute video, but I hope that this cleared some things up. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys on Friday. We're going to have a great time. See you then. Bye.